firstly, we wanted to have a discipline where um, various groups who use similar information do not have to create their own proprietary information bases or applications. So we reduce the number of applications that are created that are redundant in nature. By moving to service-oriented architecture, it helps us collate information and, and, and avoid uh, duplication of information which could represent different aspects of the truth, which is not correct. So every application, if they want to get securities information, they go to a one single service. What you do with the information is totally different, but actually, in fact, you're getting the same information. So that is one of the goals, which is information integrity, which is very important for us. The other reason is uh, for us to move to this is time to market which means that we should be able to take applications which we acquire or applications that we build and move them to the market as soon as possible. With standardization, maintenance cost comes down. The other thing that we have seen is that as a result of SOA, we are able to do a better job of analyzing the vendors who we work with. So that brings down the number of vendors that we have to interact with which has a direct impact on our total cost of ownership. The business goal is to, is to push down your total cost of ownership. So if you have a vendor who is, whose stack is more complete and who is in the leading edge of moving with the business innovation, it becomes easier for folks like us to create products because they are being placed on um, certain platforms which essentially have a complete stack. We use BA WebLogic application server in the order to cache space uh, and in other areas uh, of, the, of our products which are customer facing. The BA WebLogic integration um, uh, product uh, is very useful for us um, and uh, it also has a very short uh, uh, learning curve which helps a lot of our developers around the world to learn the product faster and able to integrate and show results. Applications could be integrated much faster, and you can have a consistent interface into the value that applications bring if you precede it with a service interface. So that is the value that we're seeing. And um, people speaking the same language. It, it sounds very qualitative in nature, because, but it's a big deal, because if you have your development center spread across the world, people speaking different languages coming from different cultures, they have to speak the same language when it comes to architecture, when it, technology, et cetera. So I think SOA has a big um, contribution in trying to have uh, a consistent language uh, to communicate uh, across the development community as well as with our customers who we send information instead of applications. So it helps us do a better job of creating value proposition. It helps us do a better job of communicating the value that it brings to the table in the language that business understands and translating that into technology and mirroring it downstream to the applications that essentially manifest that particular business problem or the solution to that business problem. So it's a whole 360 degrees.